Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to Chikara's Podcast to Go Go, your weekly dose of Chikara's brand of pro wrestling. My name is Gavin Loudspeaker. We are coming off an incredible anniversario weekend. What a weekend it was, ladies and gentlemen, in Easton, PA. We saw a 10 man tag team match featuring the first five graduates of the Chikara Wrestle Factory teaming together for the very first time against all five members of the mysterious Gekido during the course of this match. 17 ended the career of one Dragonfly, one of the first graduates ever of the Chikara Wrestle Factory. We also saw 17 end the career of Chikara Wrestle Factory graduate Tien Long in Chicago with another one of his 17 mysterious lost holds from the world of professional wrestling. Let's go to Vaughn, Ontario right now and see what happens when 17 tangled with Wrestle Factory trainer, the master of a thousand holds, Lightning Mike Quackenbush. They come into the ring. I guess that's the tag, there you go. Quackenbush now in there with 17. Big back elbow. Takes him down and Quack is a house of fire here. He has been waiting to get in here. Could be going for it. Oh, he hit it. Locks him up, rolls him through, cover, but not enough to keep 17 down. Sent on crushes 17, wrapped up like a very nicely done, and that would have been all if the shark didn't come in and break that up. Jigsaw calling for that brain buster. I don't know if he's gonna be able to keep him up with that injured knee. Shard slips out of it. Answers with a super kick of his own, does Shard. Oh, wait a minute, Shard's going for the chicken tonic. He connected with that, that would have been all. Well, they, they certainly studied their points. The move set here appears. Palm strike. I was gonna say, did I just see a palm strike out of 17? Yeah! Kick the, did, wait a minute. Did he just signal for the Kraken driver too? He just delivered it. And you see him there locking up the wrist. No man says, I don't know what to make of this move I'm seeing here. Oh, 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 and, and you hear Quack immediately give it up. Might have, might have snapped the wrist there, Shakarson. He gave up quickly after that. There you saw, ladies and gentlemen, the mysterious members of Gekido. Well, on June 2nd in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the Trocadero for our second eye pay-per-view, Chikarasaurus Rex. We are going to see all five members of Gekido once again in action as they take on the team of the Colony, Soldier Ant, Fire Ant, and Green Ant, as well as Gen 1 graduate Jigsaw and Chikara's grand champion, Eddie Kingston. That's all gonna take place June 2nd on iPay-Per-View. If you're not live with us in Philadelphia, check it out on GFL.TV. Right now, let's take a look at the grand champion of Chikara, Eddie Kingston, as he defended his title against Brody Lee in Ottawa, Canada. Could be happening here. Brody Lee is victorious. Eddie Kingston really needs to come back here. He's got him in the suplex. Oh, the Urinagi suplex. Great execution. Too near the ropes for that one to work, though. This 16 square foot ring more than once has played a factor here when those of us at Chikara are well adjusted to the 18 square foot we enjoy when we are home in the United States. And the frustration on Eddie Kingston's face tells the tale here. The Urinagi suplex put Brody too near the ropes. Just looking at Brody Lee with disdain as he just headbutts him. And now both men just slapping each other. Brody Lee could be out here. These two rough and tumble customers. You know, like I said, it was gonna be a fight and that's what this is. Got him by the ears. This is usually what you're gonna see in uh, about 1.55 a.m. at the uh, 
establishments both these men frequent out in the street in front of the building and now we're seeing it here in the ring with the grand championship on the line just straight shots Kingston had a steam big kick by Brody Lee extended his leg there oh and he connects with the big boot does Brody Lee and it looks like the ring moved a few inches with that shot right to the face of Eddie Kingston Navy's thinking once again he's going to try the butterfly from the top turnbuckle. Keeps cracking him in the ear there, and really takes 14 pounds of pressure to pull a human ear off of it, off of the head. You better watch it here. Cactus Jack knows that all too well. Kingston pounding away. Not a lot of room to maneuver up there. Oh, guys, what's Kingston having? Going for that power bomb off that top. Oh, and he just drove him right in the center of the ring. Look at the life back. This has got to be all. Oh, Brody Lee kicks out. And you see Brody is, I don't know how much more he's got left there. He kicked out Mike, he was looking right at us and his eyes were glazed over. His hand was shaking. Kingston needs to capitalize now. He's got Brody reeling here. And Kingston needs to dig down deep and go to the tried and true material. That back fist of his, the tiger suplex, the moves that have served him well. Now's the time if Kingston can score with that back fist. That's got to be all Kingston signaling for the end. Oh, but an almost collision with Bryce Remsburg. A second one. And Bryce Remsburg, who's seen a lot of abuse tonight. Bryce just got sandwiched. Oh, and that was a foul. And now Brody Lee follows the foul. Could it be the power bomb? Liger bomb. Bryce missed the foul. Not this way. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, even though the Gekido has been running roughshod all over Chikara thus far, they're going to have their work cut out for them on June 2nd on iPay-Per-View Chikarasaurus Rex when they face the All-Star Squad led by Chikara's Grand Champion, Eddie Kingston. Also on that squad will be the Chikara's reigning King of Trios, The Colony, and also Chikara's Grand Slam winner, Jigsaw, all-star team to take on Gekido, June 2nd on iPay-Per-View. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are there in Pennsylvania. If not, GFL.TV. Catch it live June 2nd on iPay-Per-View. And catch us here next week on the Go-Go. I'm Gavin.